and welcome to Lotus Roche Ignites. I am so happy to have you on the broadcast today. I have a powerhouse of ladies with me today from the book, from the book, Stepping in our territories. Now, if you saw the broadcast earlier with Janelle Harris, with Dr. Leia, oh my God, you should have been blown away. Well, today I came right back to give you some more of the good stuff and news that you can use. Why? Because we love you. And because I am bringing inspiration to every nation all over the globe. Why? Because you're deserving. Now, so many of these authors have such powerful stories. They are stories of failure. There are stories of triumph. There are stories of hurt. There are stories of pain. But most importantly, there are stories of victory and how they were able to overcome and step into their territories. So now as you come in, come on in, come on in and get in where you're fitting because, hey, I always got room around my table for you because I'm always here to help you ignite and take flight. And we have wonderful Janelle Harris, the CEO of She Exists. Good to see you, Janelle. Where you coming in from? Let the folks know where you're coming in from. And as you come in, come on in, come on in. Tell a friend, tell your frenemy, tell your family members, and even tell a stranger. Go ahead and send them a message, send them an invite, and don't forget, share, like, and start a watch party. That's right. So as you come in, come on in, put a number one down below and let me know that you're here. When you come in, let us know where you're coming in from. We'd love to know where you're coming in from because it's super important. So we can reach out and touch you and always send you some love from our broadcast. So many of you have talked about not being able to understand or even know your purpose. Many people don't know their purpose. And you know what? It's okay not to know your purpose at first, but it's not okay to stay there and not know your purpose and not walk into your purpose. So today we're going to be sharing uh, some golden nuggets about what it is to find your purpose, what it is to walk in that purpose. And then how do you walk from finding your, knowing your purpose to finding your purpose and then walking and stepping into your territory? Well, we're going to talk about that today, and I am sure it is unequivocal. You are going to have a great time, and you're going to get some great nuggets right here. So go ahead and take this moment while I take a sip. Make sure you get some, some I, I, I'm going to tell you what I've got. I've got some tea with lemon and honey. Oh, that feels so good. Nice and hot, too. I think it's got some ginger in it. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, I think I got some ginger in it. So make sure you have something good to wet your throat because we want to make sure you stick around and have a real good time with us. So if you haven't done so yet, go ahead, share, like, and start a watch party. And come on in, come on in and get in where you fit in because I have room right here around my table for you. So now be prepared to get your socks blown off as we lift you up a little bit higher with the ladies, the authors, the co-authors of Stepping in Our Territory. So if you don't know, now you know. And run and tell that. Wake the streets up. Come on in, come on in. The first person I have that is going to grace our discussion this evening is a phenomenal author. She is a speaker. She is a coach and she is here for you all the way from Germany. So come on in, come on in and lend an ear to Dr. Leah. Hey, Doc. Hey, how, how you doing? You? Good to, see you. You. Good to see you too. I think today we are paired up. 
Yes, we are, man. We have been doing double duty all day long, and I am so happy that we're so able to do this. And I'm humbly honored to have you and your fantastic co-authors on this part of the show, because of course, this is Stepping in Our Territory, take two. Thanks. And so I'm so happy you're here. So can you tell us a little bit about who you are and where you're from and where you're at right now? Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Lara. Thank you very much. I appreciate the invite. I feel honored, in fact, to be on your show this evening. My name is Dr. Leah Reddy, and I am a blessed mother. I am a blessed woman of God, and I am a warrior. Yes. I come from Kenya, and I live in Germany. As I said, I am a mother of two, and I'm also an employee as much as I am also an author of a couple of books. The most awesome. one is taking, stepping into your territory with grace. Awesome, awesome, fantastic. Well, <sighs> wow, you said a mouthful, but we, we just begun to talk. We just begun oh. to talk. And doc, I know you got something to drink. I know yes, you got I something do. to drink. Yes, so I what, do. What, what are you sipping on today? I'm sipping on some tea, green tea with lemon. Green tea with lemon. Well, guess what? I'm going to join you because I got my lemon tea with a little honey and, and some, some, some ginger in it. Great. Ooh. Here's that. <laughs> so make sure y'all taking a drink with us and come on in, come on in and get in where you fit in, get in where you fit in. Please get in. So doc, we, you know, we got a wonderful broadcast tonight. Yeah. So let's Let's go ahead and start bringing the folks in. I, he I heard, I heard that mm -hmm. Dr. D. Forbes is on with us tonight. Did you hear about oh, that? Yes. Oh, yes, I had so. And I, I think yeah. I had a glimpse of her face a little while ago. Yeah. And she is fabulous. Yes, she is phenomenal. She is everywhere. She's a speaker. Oh, yes. She's an author. Oh, my God. I don't know what else she does. She probably do backflips, too. But I'm going to oh, ask yes. her to come on and backflip right on here with us oh, right yes. now. So if oh, you yes. would, please welcome Dr. D. Forbes. Hey, Doc, how you doing? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hey there. Good to see you. Hey. Good to see you. So tell How the folks, you uh, I'm lovely. How you doing? <laughs> I'm lovely. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So tell our viewers where you are chiming in from. I'm coming in from Maryland, District Heights, Maryland. Um, awesome. Awesome. And for those of you that are just joining us and you don't know what's going on, babe, this is your live at five, keeping you alive and helping you to thrive. I have some fabulous women here today. They are the co-authors of Stepping in Our Territory. And as you see, I already have Dr. Leia Redding on with me. I already hey. have Dr. D. Forbes. Can we get a hoo hoo? Woo hoo. Did I see <laughs> <laughs> melodious, isn't it? Melodious. So oh, guess yeah. who else? <laughs> Dr. Dr. Forbes, I had I had heard that Trisha was gonna be on, and I had heard that Coach Roz was gonna be on. That's what I had heard. What did you hear? All right. Did, what did you hear? I heard some phenomenal warriors was coming on board. Oh my God, you are so right. I think Trisha, uh, Trisha was supposed to be like Grace in the house today. I think Trisha was in with us. I, I, I don't know where she at, but I know she gonna be here. And I know Coach Roz is already here. So Coach oh. Roz, welcome, welcome, welcome. What's going on with you? Welcome. I, I'm good. Hey, hey, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. I'm honored. I'm honored. Yes. We are honored to share the platform with you. We are honored. So I had heard, I had heard that Trisha was going to be on here. Trisha Thompson. Yeah, that's what I had heard. I think she in here. I think she gonna sneak on Trisha Thomas. <gasps> oh my God! Hi, yeah. Woo -hoo! <laughs> How y'all doing? That's right. We happy hello, to hello, everybody. Good hello. to see you. Hello. So, Coach Roz, go ahead and share with us who you are, and tell us a little bit about am, what you do. I do a little everything. I'm a woman of many hats. Um, I am a mother. I'm a wife. 
I'm an author. I'm a grandmother of 12, a mother of six. Whoa. I yes. Am, <laughs> I'm a life coach. I'm a writer, author. I'm an evangelist, a prayer warrior, and a cedar. Most of all, I'm a survivor. Awesome. Man. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Miss Thomas, can yes, you please ma'am. share? Can you please share who you are and what you do? Well, Trisha is here in Atlanta, was born in New York City in Brooklyn, and I am a nurse. I have a company named Devoted Healthcare Consultants, where I help people that want to start a home care business, where they take care of the elderly or if they take care of people that are disabled. I can help them to sign up the paperwork, do all that. Awesome. Yeah. I'm awesome. a mother of three and a grandma of one and also mm-hmm. a wife. And I've been a nurse for 23 awesome. years. Awesome. That's wonderful. Now, thank you. I want to thank each and every one for introducing who you are. But I think someone wasn't all the way open about who they are. I know we got uh, two doctors on the panel, but one of the doctors is also a pastor and her name is Pastor D. So Pastor D, if you will, because we got Dr. Leah on. So I'm gonna call you Pastor D. May I call you Pastor D? I'm going to take that as a yes. That her is, that's fine. Yes. Yes. All right. So, Pastor. I can D. tell you a little about myself. Yes, please. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. We're kind of going in and out. It's but okay. I'm Pastor D of Higher Praise Christian Church, a pastor of a, um, many churches all over the world. Um, I am a wife. I am a mother of 10 and a grandmother of 35, to God be all the glory. Amen. I am, have a no longer broken woman's conference that mm-hmm. comes around at least twice a year where phenomenal women come from all over the world and just share their stories and their testimony on how the Lord has brought them through. I recently just became a doctor by the grace of God. And Amen. also I have a TV and radio network that I'm working on now for conversations from all over the world of all the positive things that are going on on the on the earth today. Fantastic. Thank you can so much for me? sharing that. We can hear you. And you know what? That came through loud and clear. I love it. So thank you for sharing that. So we're going to get right into it. And folks, as you come in, come on in, come on in and tell us where you're from. We have Deidre from all the way from New Jersey. Good to see you. We're so happy you're here all the way out of New Jersey. So good to see you. We have Walton, Dwayne Walton, all the way out of Atlanta, Georgia. Good to see you, Dwayne. And of course, we have the remarkable Angela Elting is with us. She's joining us all the way out from Washington, D.C. So it's good to see you. And so many more folks are trickling in and I can't see all of you. So if I don't call your name, just take it for love. But I will try to get you up on the broadcast. But you got to make a comment, make a comment so we can get you up here so other people can also be inspired by you. So we're going to get right into it right now. And we're going to tell you guys some wonderful nuggets. And if you don't have a pen and pad yet, what are you waiting for? Get your pen and your pad because these powerful ladies are going to give you some great nuggets. And let me share with you a little bit about what we're going to be talking about today. Today, as we are all kind of caught up in this pandemic and on many of us are still on lockdown, many of us are wondering how we can rebrand. One moment. How we can rebrand, how we can understand our purpose and how we can live and move into our purpose. And then once we move into our purpose, there's got to be another step after that. And the ladies here today are going to share that with you. So I'm going to kick the conversation right to Dr. Leah, and she's going to talk about the significance of finding your purpose. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, um, that's a very good, good question. Very good topic. The significance of finding your purpose, because 
one thing we have to know, we all have a purpose where we are. We, there is a reason why we are where we are. And we need to pay attention and to realize that you need to find yourself first. You need to understand who are you and then understand what is my purpose in this place that I am at this particular moment. And it is important to uh, be careful not to walk in the purpose of somebody else unlike the purpose that God has for you. And so very importantly, you have to be very careful, very attentive, very alert to your atmosphere, very alert to your community, to your surrounding, the people you are surrounding yourself with so that you don't find yourself walking their purpose rather than walking your purpose, walking your significance. Well, uh, it's on me. So I guess you want me to speak now. Um, as, as Sister Leah said, um, Dr. Leah said, it's very important to know who you are. Um, that's how you're able to walk in your purpose. To find your purpose, you have to discover yourself, your identity, you know, what your passions are, what your desires are. So the significance or should I say benefits of walking in your purpose is once you know what it is you're here for, it's easier for you to be able to flow in that thing. You know, some people go to school for the wrong things and they, it's not their purpose. It's not what they were called to do. So they don't, they're not as uh, effective in it. But once you walk in your purpose, the benefits are you get to produce and, and be able to move forward with those things. So that's the benefits and the importance of walking in your purpose. And I love that you said you get to produce, you get to do something other than what you've already done. You stay yes. in production of your life and moving your purpose into production so you could go to the third thing that we're going to talk about. And I, I love the way you put that because Dr. D talked about the fact that she is now a doctor. One, because she found her purpose and then she put the, the purpose into action and now she's walking in it. So, Dr. D, would you please talk to us a little bit about the importance of knowing who you are and defining your purpose? Sure. Um, I would have to. Dr. D may have been cut off for a quick moment, but she'll be right back with us. And I want to go ahead and move over to Miss Thomas because she's going to tell us her idea of why it's important to know who you are and to define your purpose. Well, wait a minute. I think Doc is back with us. Okay. I'm Dr. Back. D is back. Okay. Go ahead. Look, we are warriors. Nothing's going to stop yes. us. Ain't Nothing. no stopping us now. Ain't We're no on the stopping us now. <laughs> That's right. Um, the, the significant of knowing who you are is a great thing. There is no one alike. Not no one. No one would ever be you, be like be like anyone else. So the great thing is to find out who you are. It's a passion that you have for it and you know that you can just flow in it. When you flow in it, you find that you can do some of the most incredible things that you don't even find or think that you have the strength to do and the ability to do it. It just comes so natural. And you find that when it becomes so natural, you have a passion, you have a love for it and you do it and you do it with like 100% of what you are and who you are. And for me, I like seeing other people happy in their lives changing and they're coming to fruition and who God says they are. There's a scripture that says that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Once you tap into that greatness of who you are, your possibility of becoming very successful and, and fulfilling the calling that God has on your life. I believe that once you tap into that, you can be the greatest thing or the greatest person that you could ever be. You hit the nail right on the head because a lot of people, when they find their purpose, they still struggle with tapping into that greatness that they have. They still struggle with tapping into the, the greatness within the purpose. And so because of that, oftentimes they miss the mark. So I'm mm -hmm. so happy that you shared that. And 
the, the word tap, we know it starts with a T. So we know that Miss Thomas is coming up next and she's going to talk to us about the importance of knowing who you are and how you can define and walk in your purpose. Here we go. Yeah, absolutely. I can piggyback off of what the other lady said. You know, you have to just pray about it. That's a, one of the main things is talking to the Lord and asking him what it is that he feels is your purpose in life. And just keeping that to yourself for a little while and just kind of holding in on that. And also, um, you know, taking time for yourself, making a list. What I do sometimes is I would um, at night just keep a notepad next to my bed mm -hmm. in case something comes to me. Because sometimes he talks to us at four o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning. And that's when those things come to you. So you keep a notepad there. You write things down and and go from there. Um, and you have to believe in yourself. There's things that God has placed in us that sometimes we don't even believe that we have within ourselves. So you have to believe and move forward with things and trust. Um, and also it could be something that, you know, we do every day, you know, it could be cooking, it could be cleaning, it could be simple things like that, but we enjoy doing them, you know, and it's a gift that he's given us and we can go from there. I love that you said that. And I'm so delighted to have so many folks chiming in on the platform. And I want to take this time to say, look, if you're just joining us, come on in, come on in, because the ladies have already started giving excellent nuggets. And I love what you said, uh, Trisha. It's, it's unequivocal. You got to be a note taker because note takers are money makers. And when you hear yes. that, still voice in your head at three o'clock and four o'clock. And when you said that, I almost fell out of my seat because I used to wonder, am I the only one up at three 30 and four o'clock? That's when he talks to, that's when he talks exactly, to us. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Birthday time. <laughs> yes. And I could hear the still voice just as clear as day at first, you know, some of us, we'd be like, mm -hmm. is he? <laughs> no, but you are going, you are going somewhere. You are going somewhere. And I want to say, hey, to William. William said, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We are going somewhere. And, and this is the thing. When we know that we're going somewhere, we just can't give up. We can't give up. And so mm -hmm. I want to say thank you, William, for saying this is super class. Yes, all the women on this <laughs> platform are super class. And they're sharing their nuggets and their class with you. And Deidre, I want to take your comment. She said, I like that you said, even if it's simple, even mm -hmm. if, because sometimes we don't see the value in the mm. simple things. Yes. And yes. sometimes it's the simple things that help us to really go to the next level. Oh, and yes. India White said, that's truth. That is so true. Mm -hmm. So Sean Seagal out of Ohio, thank you so much. We've got Kathy Ray on tap with us, uh, tap and product. I love that. I think Kathy Ray is out in New Jersey. Please let me know where you're from. Please let me know where you're from. And I think William is out of the UK right now. William's out of the UK and Janelle wow. saying that's good stuff. Now, Kathy <laughs> Ray also said, let me, let me highlight this. Let me see where, where that's at. Kathy Ray said, I like that about note taker. And, and I want to ask you something, Tricia, because you said this, and I'm going to run this around right quick before we go to our next topic we're going to tackle. You said, write it down. Mm -hmm. what, what made you say, write it down? Because sometimes, you know, you would think of something at three o'clock and by the time 10 o'clock gets here and the day starts going to get to work, the kids are calling you left and right and the phone's ringing, you already forgot. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, exactly. he talks to us at this time. It's a quiet very quiet, still time. Yes. And speaks to us then, and you may forget. So I yes. say, keep the little notepad. I have mine here, you know. Awesome. I do awesome. keep it next to the bed, and awesome. I'll just get up sometime and jot something down and, mm -hmm. you know, and look it up later and research later. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Leah, how about you? What? Why do you think note takers are money makers? Why do you think that's important? It's very important because, I mean, we, even in the Bible, uh, God told Abba Cook, write down your vision so that I may run through it. Right. 
And so mm -hmm. as you put it down, you remember it. It keeps yes. on running into your mind because it is something you wrote down. But when you keep it in your mind, so many things come, even like um, she just said, you have activities, you have kids running out, you have this and that. You, you've you woken up that early in the morning and there was just so many things. And maybe by seven o'clock, you feel like, let me just take a nap a little bit just to, you know, calm down. And then it's gone. Yes. And so it, it's important to have it written down because you can go back and revisit it. It doesn't matter how long it will be there, but you can go back and exactly. revisit it and exactly. you can replay it in your mind and you can begin to put it into practice. You can begin to implant, implement it one step at a time. Exactly, exactly. And Dr. D, can you please tell us why you feel it's important to write it down? Write down the vision. I would have to say because at 56, I would certainly forget. <laughs> and <then> I forget. <laughs> <laughs> and, and most of all, most of all, my schedule is so busy, such as these great women. I have to write it down because God is so great in this season. He's given out yes. so many business, so many gifts, so many yes. talents. Yeah. And you want to write it down so that you can mm -hmm. ask the Lord exactly how he wants you to do this. When he'll give you instructions, that's important to get instruction from him. Mm -hmm. And you know you're going to be successful when you get instructions mm -hmm. from the Lord. Yes, yes, that's true. Coach Ross, can you yes, share your thoughts on the topic? Well, writing it down for me, um, one of the things that I've learned is at three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning is usually my time. That's when he gives me blueprints from heaven. And, and that's the times that, you know, that he speaks to me. And it's just our time. Yes. And so it's important to always have that notepad by your bed. And some yes. people are dreamers. Sometimes he give you dreams and visions. Yes. So it's important to have that there because you don't always remember your dream. You don't always yes. remember what it is he's saying. And, you know, you, if you got a vision, you have to write it down so you can mm -hmm. run by it. You can yes. walk it out. Mm -hmm. And she said, walk it out. And I'm happy you use that term because you can't just write it down. You can't mm -hmm. just leave it there. Because I love that Deirdre uh, Deirdre said this. God, thank you so much. Deirdre said, "Write it down, make it plain, and then you got to go to the next step. You got to do the work. Mm -hmm. You got to yeah. move into action. You got to move Amen. into action." And Kathy Ray said, "Hey, man, sometimes you don't remember everything, and that's true. Sometimes you don't remember nothing. True. So that's the truth. Come on. And, and, and I want to share this too." She said, yes, speaking your vision into existence. Thank right. you. Janelle yeah. said that speaking your vision yeah. into existence. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Because yeah. you know what? Yeah. I believe what, what did you say? Come on now. Blueprints from heaven. Yes, I wanted to write that down. That's the truth. <laughs> Blueprints from heaven. Yes. We need to get together and is. write that book. Blueprints from heaven. That needs I'm to be already writing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the title of my book that I'm writing right now. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. Right. Down, then. So, so make sure yes, you get that book and, and then we can group up and write Blueprints from Heaven too. Amen. Okay. Blueprints Amen. from Heaven too. What it's like series. when writing it down helps you. Mm. Yeah. Right? Because it, it does help you. I have okay. had so many things happen to me and I forgot to write it down and I just knew I was going to remember it. And then when I got back to it, I couldn't remember it. And, and, and the funny thing is you could be in your twenties and still forget something, especially because mm -hmm. we have such hectic lives. Yes. We're all entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. We have families, we have things going on mm -hmm. and the facts are the facts and there's no shame in that game. So mm -hmm. I want to say this, our viewers are right on board with us. They get it. They get mm -hmm. it. And they mm -hmm. understand about purpose. But the question, the next question that we had was, Okay, now we, we can see our purpose. We understand that we have to be able to see our purpose to begin to kind of shift and take that action toward the purpose. Well, what if you see the purpose, you understand that there's got to be some action, 
How do people kind of move from knowing their purpose to walking in their purpose? And Trisha's gonna tackle that first. You gotta make a plan. <laughs> if, it's a, if it's a business, you gotta make a business plan. You may need a, you may need a mentor, you know, to help you. Someone that's already done it already. So you don't exactly. have to invent the reinvent the wheel, what they say. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. So you got to prepare. First of all, you got to plan, prepare, and you got to take action. But as I always say, great mentors need mentors. Mm -hmm. Would right. you agree with me? Great yes, mentors yes. need yes, mentors. Yes, yes, yes. So mm -hmm. before you all, we have several great mentors right mm -hmm. here. We have come from all over the globe to be on this broadcast to mentor you. So if you like what I'm saying, and if you love what the ladies are saying, drop a three in the comment below, drop a three in the comment below. And ladies, help me drop this positive energy because this is a thing that I do. I love dropping that positive energy on you because we are here tonight to help you ignite and take flight. So if you ain't yes. dropping that positive energy, keep your hands shut. Don't move, keep them shut. Because you got to find ways to drop positive energy. Oh, yeah. so, so, Dr. D, go ahead and talk to us about how people move from knowing their purpose to walking in their purpose. Because you just told us that you just got your doctoral. And I know when I was working on my doctoral, it was it, it was a nightmare. It was rough That's because nice. I had clients. But you've done it. Amen. And That's if great. you've done it, it's not bragging. Mm-hmm. So no, tell us about to God be all the glory. <laughs> amen. 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 I, I would have to say, um, by the grace of God, um, the Lord had allowed me to put 14 business together. So for me, if I hear his voice and get instructions from him, I just move by faith. And so I know yes. that doesn't happen because some of the people I work with is kind of like um, awkward for them to work with me. It's just once he get it in my head, I run with it. And by the grace of God, his grace is so sufficient. These business just come to fruition. So yes. for me, I would just say having faith in God, believing in yourself, yes. moving in what he said, believing in yourself, believing in yourself, believing in yourself and knowing that if God said it, you can do it because all yes. things are possible. And as oh, I yes. said earlier, he's giving out gifts and talents and business. We just yes. have to be in place to receive it. He's looking yes. for someone to give these things to. And yes. I believe these women on the line, that's what I see in them when I'm studying you guys and reading on you guys and learning about you all. Because the Bible said you want to know those who labor in among you. And I want to say that you all are doing a great job. And for me, he's giving me oh, more gifts you. and talents in my head to my head is swelling up and I just keep moving in them. <laughs> and I don't have any other answer than to say, I believe in God. Awesome. Yes. awesome. So, Coach Ross, they done kicked the ball yeah. to your court. What you going to do with it? How do I'm people move? It. To, hey! <laughs> how do people move? <laughs> to their walking in it? How do they do that? Your passion. Passion produces purpose yes. you know when you have a passion for something it burns in you once you've already given god gives you that vision then he gives you the passion and the passion is what gives you purpose mm -hmm. and that person purpose and passion put together helps you push to produce what it is Thank god you. has put in you mm -hmm. you have to have all of it together yes. because you can't sleep sometimes until you get that produce you can't mm -hmm. you know you, you'll try to go and do something different and it's still yep. there it's the passion yep. That produces the purpose. Yes. Mm. Exactly. I love it. I love it. I told y'all, I told, I tried to tell you, <laughs> tried to tell you to get your notepad. If you didn't get your notepad, we're going to give you a quick break and we're going to come back because if you don't have your notepad, you're going to get left behind because I told you, I got a phenomenal powerhouse of women right mm. here. They're coming from all over to give you what you need. So I'm going to give you a quick half a second to get it together, get your notepad, get your pen, mm -hmm. get your pencil. If you can't find a pen or a pencil, get your eyebrow pencil. Most of us got eyebrow <laughs> pencil. <laughs> Come on back. Break the streets up.
All right, we gave you a couple of quick seconds. I hope you got your notepads and I hope you are prepared because the next thing we want to talk to you guys about is, you know, we, we've come from talking about how do people understand their purpose? We've talked about, okay, once you understand your purpose and, and you know that you got to have passion because that passion produces the purpose and you understand your purpose and you start walking in it because you walking in that passion, right? You're using that passion to propel you to walk into your purpose. Mm -hmm. And so once we walk in our purpose, we really start, we, we're taking our strides, right? Now I'm going to ask you this. Has any one of you ever been knocked down? If you ever been knocked Ooh, down, yes. put a four in the comment below. And I'm going to take this one down. question. I'm going to pass the ball mm -hmm. over to Trisha because I want her to tell us if she's ever been knocked down and tell us what you did. Hmm. I'm sure I have. I'm trying to, on the spot thinking. Um, that was a surprise question, y'all. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> you got me caught off guard. <laughs> okay. A question. Let's see when I got knocked down. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's all kind of disappointments in life, huh? Yes. What about right now? There you go. <laughs> I'm being knocked down by the COVID 19. Exactly. Many, many, and many of us have been because, and, and not necessarily where it's knocked us down and we can't do nothing and we can't think, but it's put us in such a situation that we must change we've had yeah. we're having a paradigm shift mm -hmm. so yeah how have you been and dealing with facing, this paradigm paradigm face, well shift. facing i'm a, i'm not really a frontline worker but i am because i work in hospice yes so i still have to see patients and we're dealing uh -huh. with a invisible enemy yes and happen to you know, done up in all these outfits yeah. I'm, I'm wearing a mask i'm wearing you know my lab coat and gloves and all that trying not to get this thing that's killing us here, killing a lot yes. of people. So, yes. you know, it's, it's hard. And that's, that's a big one for me. I would say, you know, having the kids at home, one had the kids having to come home from school and stuff like that. And just dealing with trying to find toilet paper. I mean, it's just yep. crazy, you know, yep. simple things like that, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, I mean, we're getting through, I thank God so far. I don't know if I have it or if anyone in my household has it, you know, but um, we're doing okay. But awesome. it has affected us in some ways, you know, because down to like going to the DMV, you can't even go there. You know, you're yes. trying to, and you get online trying to apply for something and you cannot get it right away yes. because everything's backed up. Everybody's fighting, trying to get on there because you can't go down to the actual building. You know, yes. it's backing up and it's, it's all you're doing is seeing the circle spinning, you know, so it really inconveniences, you know, but that's one way I would say. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing that because I, mm -hmm. I, I felt your I felt your heart when you said, I don't know if anyone in my family has it, but we we're don't okay. Know. You know, right. Know. And a lot of people don't. And that causes undue stress. Yeah. A lot of people are stressed. A lot of people are fearful. And what we have to cling on is one another and we have opportunities like this on this platform and this new book coming mm -hmm. out stepping in our territory to help build us up and encourage mm -hmm. us so mm -hmm. dr leah i want you to talk real quickly about you know what 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 is it? how has this paradigm shift changed you before we go to our next question um um for me the paradigm shift changed me because when i began to understand who i am I began to align myself into the right purpose for my life. Right. I began to shut down the noises that speak yes. something different in my life mm -hmm. other than what yes. God has spoken for into my yes. life. Mm -hmm. Who am yes. I? I'm his child. I am blessed. I am loved. I am capable of doing more than mm -hmm. what I can just see right now. I am a warrior yes. inside yes. and out. I can do more than I can even imagine because he has empowered me. He gives me strength and power to yes. achieve yeah. well, to do more, to go beyond what I can see right now. And that yes. changed me. 
especially yes. my knockdown when I, you know, when I just realized really I am now going through a divorce. So this right. is it. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's not something that you, you, you want to happen in your life. Yeah. You have children, you have everything, you have yes. morals, you have all these things that you put together. You know, you have your life, your family plan and everything in structure. You're working hard to build that. And then here it is, the, you know, the enemy has knocked you down on it. And then you're like, so what? What next? And I, you know, I quickly understand mm -hmm. who am I? I cannot allow yes. myself to be down there. I have to pick up myself. I have to remember who am I and begin to put on my crown because he has yes. given me a crown of victory. And when I put yes. it on and put yes. my head up, I can move forward and I can shut off all the noises that would, would talk to me shame or, um, you know, um, fear uh, or, you know, you're not going to make it now. Single mom with two kids, your job and everything. How will you make it? Foreign country, language, everything. And, you know, he kept on reminding me where he brought me from to where yes. I am. And that is what changed me and told me yes. you can make it. Even now, yes. as you think you're down there, you are actually in a different level. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 And and I might add, you have to have the courage to walk away from exactly. these negative thoughts and these yeah. negative exactly. occurrences exactly. that's exactly. happening in your life. You have mm -hmm. to walk away. And so many of us, so many of us are in fear. Yes. We're in mm -hmm. fear. And when we're knocked down, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Coach Roz, when you get knocked down and, and things are mm -hmm. negative and you're in fear, do you believe that fear is a choice? Oh, yeah. How you rise above it? Uh, yes. I, for me, you know, my knockdown came two weeks before COVID came. I was uh, in on bed rest because of Crohn's. Right. And so I was already um, in you could say of uh, isolation. Mm -hmm. I was already being quarantined. Okay. Right. And that was my knockdown. But when mm -hmm. I got knocked down, I got my notepad and I said, Lord, I'm on my back. What yep. do you want to say to me? Okay. When we going through and we get knocked down, what helps us to get up is the purpose. We, we're coming yes. right back to the purpose. We mm. have a purpose. And as long as we got a pulse, we got a purpose. Yes. We got something that God wants us to do. And that's what drives me to go. I said, you know what? There's women out there that's dying. There's women that need to hear that they can make it. That's yes. that purpose, that yes. passion that keeps me coming back and getting up yes. no matter how hard it is. No matter the divorces. I've had a divorce. Yes. No matter what. Nothing can stop me because I'm a warrior. Yes. Awesome. I love it. I love it. So, Dr. D. We know that so many people have been knocked down. And just like we're doing today, when people get knocked down, what would you tell them to do about being planning, preparing, and taking action, but also being able to collaborate with other people who've been where they've been, mm -hmm. but who's going somewhere and helping them to get where they're going as well? Well, I would have to start out with saying that I know what that's like to be knocked down um, in 2011 is when I first became paralyzed. By the grace of God, I'm healed now. I lost Thank my you. son and then I lost my best friend. Then I lost my cousin. <sighs> I went through a divorce. I had 14 business. I lost all of them except for two. And then my wow. sister that was my best friend died and I had to hold on to God. That was yes. the darkest time of my life. But one thing I loved about God is when you have faith, fear can't come in. It's not a fact yes. in your life. Yes. Oh, the main yes. thing is, is not let fear overtake your life. You exactly. have to stay in touch with faith because oh, wow. it is impossible to please God without it. And that yes. is the key. And all that I went through, I had to hold on to that because yes. I had gotten into a bad marriage and it, and it was abusive and I lost everything, all 14 business, but I had something on the inside of me yes. that made me keep saying you're better than this. Mm -hmm. Because before that, guys, I was on crack for 16 years and when the Lord brought me out of that and started showing me myself and saying mm -hmm. to me that something great was on the inside of me, even as a child, I knew something different was about yes. me. Just like all of us on this line, that's why we are who we are. 
because yeah. even as a child, yes. we knew something else was going on other than what other people were saying. You, we knew something unique and different was about us. So for me, after all that, 10 years later, the Lord blessed me with a good husband. Like I said, we have 10 yes. children together. We have 35 grandkids. We're having business together. We're getting along. Sometimes I get on his nerves. Sometimes he get on mine, but we love each other. I finally found Thank out you, what Lord. it is to be loved and to have someone to support you. Not jealous of your vision, because you know when right. we strong Come on women now. like this, yes. you can't have nobody yes. weak in your life. Yes. So That's when you true. get someone strong that love God and have faith, look, the sky is past the limit. Oh, we yes. can do yes. all things. Say that. Mm -hmm. We are warriors. We're pressing through. Nothing Ooh. coming this life. This COVID, no nothing. We telling that yep. COVID, go sit his butt down somewhere. We're oh, about yes. sick of it now. And what we have to do is stay yes. positive. Keeping oh, yes. these great shows like this. Reaching out and telling people, look, y'all can focus on that if you want to. We got some great come things on. still going on. Mm -hmm. on this earth. Yes. And it's in mm -hmm. us and it has to come out. So we just want to give God yes. praise. Amen. We just want to give him glory. We just want to give him honor. Yes. He's still, he's still riding. Yes. He's still moving. He's still yes. shaking. Yes. He's still lifting. Yes. So we ought to give him praise. Look at y'all great women. Hallelujah. We got something to live yes. for yes. in yes. spite yes. of. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, we do. I told you. I I told y'all this room is going to be powerful. So knock your socks off. I oh. told you. I told you. Thank you. We're having a revival here. We're in church. We're reviving. <laughs> yes, we are. We're reviving you. Ooh, Lord. From the COVID mindset. Hallelujah. We're reviving you, you from the COVID fear. Yes. We're reviving yes. you from the COVID frustration. We're mm. reviving you from the COVID yeah. negativity. Oh, yes. We're reviving mm. you. And we're mm. reviving you to help you Ooh. use your passion. Because your mm. passion Jesus. produces purpose. Oh, and yes. don't yes. be yes. Stop in the middle of the middle and mm. write it down because mm. you might forget. Yes. God mm. gives you something right here in this broadcast. Mm. Write mm. it down. That's Hallelujah. why I'm putting this yes. stuff on the screen so mm. you can you can use this because mm. so yes. many people are stuck in fear. But I challenge you: be fair with faith. Oh, yes. Be fair. Yes. With Jesus. Step oh, yes. into your yes. That's it. And I Hallelujah. Tell people. I'm the coach that mm. takes the needle off the record. We have mm. a record of negativity always oh. playing in our mind. Mm -hmm. I challenge you today. Take the needle off the record and do yeah. some positive self you, to mm -hmm. help ignite mm -hmm. and take flight in your purpose. Walk mm -hmm. in your purpose. Yes. Use your passion mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. your passion produces purpose. Yes. Amen. Well mm -hmm. said. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I can't. I can't <laughs> look. I heard somebody say, <laughs> "My socks are off." I told you it was going to knock your socks off. Somebody <laughs> said, hey, you socks off. Ignite and take flight. Come on, come on. That's right. That's right. Kathy say her socks is off. Now, if you just come into this broadcast. <laughs> Go ahead, share, like, and start a watch party because somebody out here today mm. yes. needs to hear what these powerful women are saying because we've oh, already yes. talked about how to figure out your purpose. We've already talked about how to step into your purpose. We've already mm -hmm. talked about when stuff get hard and when stuff like yes. COVID knocks you down, what to do, not to... Not to just lay down and stay down, but how to get up. Because if you can get up, if you can huh. look back, you can get up. That's right. Yes. And yes. Who is sharing with you how to get up. Mm. And then the next thing we want to share with you is this. Because you've already, if you're not up by now, you need to be up. If you if you're, if you're laying down on your face, just get up a little bit, crutch. You know how a cat just a little bit. Get on up on your knees a little bit because that's a start. Oh, that's yes. a start. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then if you yes. get up and start walking in your purpose, mm. like we all should be doing. Oh yes, Hallelujah. You can really walk. You can walk into your territory. Yes. So if you're ready that's to it. walk. In your territory these ladies they wrote the book about it if you are ready to walk into your territory put a six in the comment below if you are ready to walk into your territory let us know if you're ready to walk into your territory because i'm gonna tell you coach rise is getting ready to talk about 
how does walking in our purpose help us to step into our territory? So I'm going to look and see what coach, coach, look, I'm going to see what they, if they put the sixes in there, I got six, seven, eight. <laughs> Come on. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, oh, now, get up. That's right. Get up. So, Coach Ross, please mm. tell us, share with us, share with us how people can go ahead and step into their territory. See, once you have gotten your purpose, you know what your purpose is. Now you have your passion for your purpose. And now you're walking forward. You're not just walking forward to be walking forward, but you're walking into the place that you've already been prepared for. How you've been prepared for it? Through your tears, through your pain, through the things mm -hmm. you've been through. That's what gave you your territory. Mm -hmm. That's that's already been prepared for you. You went through something someone else did not make it through. They died mm -hmm. through what you've walked through. And mm -hmm. that is what's giving you your territory. Mm -hmm. You've already been qualified. You've been qualified through your pain, through mm -hmm. your suffering, through the mm -hmm. things that you withstand, the divorce, through the nervous breakdown, through the things you've been through. God sustains you so that you can walk in your territory. And that's mm. what gives you authority. Because you can't be in a territory without authority. You can't be. We're warriors, but we mm. have authority over the enemy. We don't, you know, run and hide because COVID then came forth. No. Mm. And we say in Jesus' name, you don't mm. have no authority here. Come on now. This is our territory. That's mm. how we're able to walk in it. We've already been produced for it. We've already been prepared for it, and we're mm. able to walk in our territory. Mike, Mike, drop. I'm trying not to travail. I'm so heavy. I'm so full over here, thinking everything. Give me that to go in. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, 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 Miss Thomas, yes, how did claim your territory? How do they even claim it and walk in it? So we walk in it, but but they got to claim it first to walk in it. So tell them how they, they claim it and to walk in it all together. Just take all your story from the beginning, from birth to the end, to this point, and just claim it. And just take it on, go with it. Write your stories down. Awesome. Write your stories down and make it plain. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. has a story. Yes. Exactly right. Whether it's good, whether it's sad, whether it's wonderful, mm -hmm. everyone has a story. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Is your story, is your story a sad story? Did it knock you down? Did it hurt you? When you say everyone has a story, what, what story do you have that helped you the most? Mm, okay. Well, for me, my, my husband, my now husband, was gone overseas for quite a while. We had three kids here. I was by myself for a bit. I'll say it was like six years. He went to Iraq, went to Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of, of a single mom for a yes. long time, getting kids to school up every morning, getting them out the door, getting them to school, coming back around, pick them up, come home, do homework, cook dinner, so on, all the activities and dealing with all the Boo boos and the heartaches and stuff like that. So it, it was it was hard, you know. And still trying to have an adult life and time to myself, you know, keeping up with the house and everything. It was really hard. And but I made it through. I'm here, you know. And he's home. Thank God. <laughs> and I'm prior military, so I know what that can be like. Yes, it's not. Uh, I, I've I've had a lot of my you know. clients and my patients. They yeah. were. Uh, military active duty mm -hmm. and I tell you it is hard but even if it's hard do it hard do it anyway well, it's okay you know mm -hmm. it's, it, it teaches it teaches the kids one you know how to be strong mm -hmm. you know and for them it was rough because you know missing dad he went through all the emotional teenage years the early teenage years preteen you know combative behaviors and stuff like that it was rough you know but we made it through but you made it through and you did mm -hmm. it anyway. Absolutely. Yes. So, Dr. Leia, how yes, do you um, walk in their territory? Yes. Like um, what um, Coach Ross said and what Trisha said, once you find your purpose, you begin with the baby steps, one step at a time. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Pray over every step that you take. Yes. Put the fear away. Because one thing that keeps people from their purpose is because they fear to fail. Yes. But they don't understand that even in that failure is still a success because there's something Mm -hmm. you've learned from that. Yes. Yes. And so when you keep focus, you keep your goals, you know, you keep your eyes open, you keep your faith ablaze, yes. you continue to lift yourself up, surrounding yourself with people of like minded like you, people who are yes. thinking positive yes. like you. Mm-hmm. That's very important. Otherwise, you will collide with people who don't see what mm-hmm. God already sees in you, mm-hmm. what is already yes. in you. And they Never. kill it before yeah. it even comes Come out. On. You're going to learn to incubate and you're going to learn to know how you warm it up, you nurture it, you bring it out, when to bring it out. And you have to remember that at the end of the day, it's not just about you. It's yes. about the giver of that purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because but, he... Yeah will hold it together for you. No matter what, he will hold it together for you. Because the Bible says that when you acknowledge him as Lord and Savior, he will always make your path straight. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so it is about the giver of that purpose, that as you nurture it, you remember that it is something that has been entrusted into your hands and it is not for me to grab and call it my own. It is exactly. somebody's. Mm-hmm. Being that I have been given to take care of. Mm-hmm. And so I need to take those steps one step at a time. And as he guides me, as he makes my path straight, I have to remember that I acknowledge him in every step mm-hmm. of the way. Yes. Wow, that's Thank powerful. You. Yes. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to pass it to the wonderful... Dr. D, how do people move out of that fear? How do they overcome? How do they step into their territory? What do they do, Dr.? First of all, I would have to say compassion, just having compassion for something for me. The compassion that I have for God and my children was something that I had to hold on to. I can just take you back a little on. The times when I was on drugs, I was a mother at the time, and I would constantly cry out to God to be a mother. I said, I just want to be a mother. And that love took me through. I would have to say love. Once you find the compassion of love of God and something great, um, greater than yourself, in other words, then then that way you're not selfish about it. You, you, You become loving and lovable because you love somebody. I was a single mother of seven children. And they didn't deserve that. They did not deserve it. So I would cry out to God. And once the Lord delivered me, I had the compassion for other women and children because I understood it so well. And so I had to put down fear and pick up faith if I was going to reach a nation, not just a community, but a nation. And so something in us should compel us to say, no, not just a little city. That's not enough. We need the nation. Because there are women all over, just need to hear our voice, need to know the strength, need to know that there is power, need to know there is anointing, need to know that there is an answer, and there is an answer. We know Jesus Christ is the answer, but then what is in there? There is something that's called faith. You got to get them connected to faith. I stand on that. I'm telling you, faith takes away fear. You can't have faith in fear, one or the other. So when fear is on the scene, and God said, I haven't given you fear, but I've given you love and a sound mind. So you got to find a place to love and then you got to find your sign mouth. How do you find it? If you keep your mind straight on me, you will have perfect peace. Mm -hmm. So one thing for sure, you got to keep your mind on God. You Mm -hmm. cannot keep giving your mind negativity. You can't keep watching this virus because I promise y'all, my church doors are still open. I was telling Janelle, I said, most people say I'm crazy, but not one of us caught the virus. Why? We bind that devil and we command That's him not right. to come. And this mm-hmm. is not to tell That's somebody, don't believe. Wherever yeah. your faith is, you got to follow that. If you don't have yeah. that faith of mustard seed, don't play with this thing. It's not to be played That's with. Right. But if you have that strong faith, you remember what you've been through, what God took you through, how he got you here. You have enough to tell fear. Who's scared of you? I, my, my new name is Faith. 
Uh, so since my name is Faith, then you got to go. One mm, of us have right. to run. It won't be me. And so we have oh. to say that to ourselves. Words are yes. so powerful. You got to yes. speak it to yourself. And then you can't yes. believe it. If you don't believe it, who else going to believe you? Okay. People know when you're lying or when you're telling the truth. Yeah. So it's right. best to always find something on the inside of you. Mm. Grip it. Yes. There's some good in everybody. You just mm. have to find it. Oh yes, exactly. and hold on to it. Mm, that's exactly. all I can say. It's just I'm just telling you what works yes. for me, um, yes. and that's what's been working for me. Holding on to faith, Thank reading you. God's word, believing what He said, then looking back over my life and seeing everything He said He would do and uh -huh. could do, He yes. did. It. Oh, yes. He's yes. the yes. one that brought me off of drugs. He's the one brought me out of those abusive yes. relationships. He's the one that put my foot on this rock Hallelujah. and make me run. Oh, Where well, I look back and say, if I would have stayed in fear, mm. I probably would have been the worst crackhead or dead. Oh, but because Thank I put you, my Lord. mind on God, Thank you, Jesus. I want y'all to hear me. Because I put my mind on oh, God today, I can look at a business business and possess it because Hallelujah. I believe that much in Hallelujah. God and in myself. And so that's what we have to do, y'all. We Thank have you. to keep faith over fear. Okay. Yes. Yes. So Ooh. many of you that are just joining us, as you see, mm. we've come from so many backgrounds. I, I mm. can identify with the background in drugs with my family members. I've been in, in what they call shooting galleries and crack houses. I know what that's about. I, I wasn't mm -hmm. on drugs, but my family members were. And let me tell you, before I started mm -hmm. sharing my story, it binded me. I wasn't free because I was afraid of what people was going to think or what they would say. But what mm -hmm. I found out, what Ayala Van Zandt oh, shared God. with us, is that you got to look fear in the face and say, fear? Hmm. I know it's you. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Yes. I, I'm not dealing with you today because mm -hmm. the deal is already done. Get out. Uh, and exactly. you stand in the conviction of just that. Mm -hmm. So I want to take some comments. We got a lot of comments streaming in. I want to take some comments from folks. We got a bunch of folks saying, yes, freedom, come on now. But you have to come to terms with past in order to pursue future. And we mm -hmm. know that's true. And I, I want to talk to you about qualified Come on now, all help me qual qualify. God doesn't call only the qualified. Quali God qualified to call. Exactly. That's so right. if God has called you to do something in your life, you may not know it. You may not be, be, be in mm. your mind that you qualify, but God has already given you the qualified uh, mm. particles, mm. if you will. And I use particles because this COVID-19 is mm. they say it's a it's a it's a particle thing when we breathe this in. So I'm telling you, breathe in what God has qualified mm -hmm. you to be. Right. Breathe into what yes. you're qualified yes. to do mm. and say. Breathe that in because when you yes. breathe that in and follow your faith and let faith lead you over fear, mm -hmm. so make it every mm -hmm. time. Yeah. So I love that when you said, talked about qualify mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. overcoming fear. And I see Janelle said, come on, past experience is future destiny. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Yes. Come on now. So, <laughs> folks, if you're trying to reach out and you want to find this new book, I told you it was going to be awesome. I told you it was going to be powerful. I told you it was going to knock your socks off. I told you all of that. And it has. So if you want to find this new book so you can just step into your territory, you need to contact these ladies. And so, Dr. You. Leah, can you tell folks how they can contact you? Um, they can contact me through my website. That is www.steppinggrace.com. They can get me on Amazon. So I have a couple of books that I have written. One is Who You Are. Who are you? Because when you find who you are, then you find your purpose. Begin to receive God's love and understand what love is all about so that you can be able to share that love. And in the same rank, you can be strengthened in your walk. As you walk your purpose, you get strength because you need it. And that strength doesn't just come from anywhere, but from the giver of the purpose.
So that would be very great if you can just step in and also looking forward to the stepping into uh, your territories. Um, the book will be coming out in a week or two weeks time around Mother's Day. So we are just looking forward that you will be blessed because it is important, especially in this season, to be encouraged in every way. It is important to keep yourself ablaze in the positive arena, not in the negative arena, because what the world is giving out is the negative arena. But keep yourself in the positive arena. Find books, find teachings that will motivate you to walk in that territory that God has put for you, that has positioned you into, and you will not miss your purpose. So it is important. Check out our website. Check out um, Amazon. We have both um, e-books, print paper book for those who still love to carry around the books. Paper books, you will find them there. Step into the territory by grace because it's all about grace. Our life is about grace and grace comes from the giver of the purpose and that is God because it's only by grace that we are healed. It's by grace that we are saved. It is by grace that we can see each new day. We can see ourselves and find ourselves in that place. So just grab a copy, get to know all the authors, their stories, get to know their testimonies, get to know their survival weapons, get to know the prayer warriors that have written those books and just Keep on, you know, keep on getting those uh, nuggets and make sure, don't forget to write down what you're learning, what you're getting. So especially for those who are looking for presents for their mothers, stepping into your territory is a good present. It's a good gift for all the ladies, women out there. It will be launched on Mother's Day. So just Keep on watching the pages, um, Laura's Ignite. Keep on watching the She Exists, Waking Up, Winning. Keep on watching our Facebook pages, our Instagrams, our websites. You will find the books there. And so just don't stop motivating yourself each day. Find exactly. something that will continue to motivate you. Find a place, find a posture, find a position. Even in the lockdown, is a whole lot of time where you can get to find to get a lot of knowledgeable um, articles uh, you can read a lot of books that will help you to nurture yourself to build yourself and to understand even when probably maybe you're saying but how I don't know what my purpose is when you read a lot of these books you will find your story is not different from their stories so yes. then you will realize your purpose was just right in front of you you just needed a little bit of a tick to jump into that territory. Yes. So if you have not gotten your pen and paper yet, you still haven't gotten it, go get it. Because Coach Roz is going to tell you a little bit about how to reach her. Yes. Okay. So you can reach me, um, uh, Rosalind Willis 77 at gmail.com. Um, my website is um, TNR Birthing books publishing okay um dot site that's my website okay and i'm i'm teaching some uh, classes on how to write your book so if you have a book that you need to birth out you know you know get get in touch with me um and also on amazon.com and barnes and noble you can get our book um prophetic wedding planning it's a workbook manual and you have actually have pages where you write in there, you know, with your spouse or a soon to be spouse. It's a really good book to help with the marriage and people that are getting ready for marriage as well. Singles that want to be kept by God. It, it has some nuggets in there for you as well. So um, you can catch me on um, Facebook just at, under Rosalind Willis. And also, if you need prayer or anything like that, I always put out there, my phone number is 325-864-3714. And you can call me. I'll pray with you. You know, I'll minister to you or just listen to you. But I'm here. God bless you. Okay, I'm still here, so I'll, I'll say some more. Okay, so... <laughs> 
love it. You know, I, I, love I, it. I keep I, going. <laughs> see, that's what powerful women do. I was, I was saying yeah. that I'm getting this information up. The prophetic wedding planner. That's very, very vital. And you can go on Amazon to, and get that. But go ahead and say your next thought because I want to bring up your other modes of contact. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and also, um, we I'm getting ready to start a um a podcast. And so and the podcast is called uh, Keeping It Real with Coach Roz, Coming Off of Mute. And then we're going to have a marriage podcast called The Love Hour with Self. And in both of those podcasts, you can look look on my uh, Rosalind Willis um, Facebook and you'll have all the links are there as well. And so, um, again, if y'all need to contact me for anything, anybody that know me know I'm an open book. So I'm, I'm, I love you and stay encouraged and walk in your purpose and your destiny. And remember, long as you got a pulse, you got a purpose. You got a purpose. There we go. And so Trisha's coming up next and she's going to tell you how to get in touch with her. Hi, everyone. This is Trisha Thomas. And you can reach me by phone is 404-966-7847. And my business name is Devoted Healthcare Consultants. The website is devotedhealthcareconsultants.com. And my email address is trisha.thomas at devotedhealthcareconsultants.com. Okay. Let me make sure I get this in. Trisha, give me that uh, email again, because guess what, folks? We had some computer issues uh, and, and she made sure she still got her stuff in. So we're not going to leave her website out. You need that. And we're going to get her number in as well. So Trisha, okay. give me a second to back back some stuff up because we've sure. given so much wonderful information out, but we cannot leave that out no shape, form, or fashion. Okay, so give me a quick second. And I tell you what, if you will, here we go. I'm ready, go. Trisha dot Thomas mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. devoted healthcare consultants dot com. And the phone number. Okay. Is uh I think I think I got that right. Uh, hold on. Let me set. <clears throat> let me make sure I got it. Consultants with an S. Mm -hmm. Dot com. Okay, I think I got that. And if there's anything wrong, please let me know. Is that correct? Uh, towards the end. Okay. It should be. There shouldn't be an N in there. It should be just T S. T S. Okay, I got you. Hold on. T. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. And go ahead and let me get that phone number two yes. and I'll put that in here as well. Okay. It's 404-966-7847. All right. Let me put the little dash marks in there so people won't think I done lost it or whatever, you know. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. I got that in there for you folks. We cannot... You, you cannot and you should not leave without getting this information down. So there we go. Uh, Miss Trisha Thomas, she is phenomenal. You can get her book. You can hit her up on her website. You can contact her directly. And also, I'm going to give you Coach Roz's phone number. If you need to contact her directly, Coach Roz, go ahead and put it in the chat. We're going to get that up here as well. And Trisha, what else would you share uh, with them about your contact points? Anything else? That's it. All right. Fantastic. In the coming future, there'll probably be more. <laughs> all right. All right. So Dr. D is going to come up next and give you guys her contact points so you can get in touch with her as well. Dr. D. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. D. Forbes. My church is 2817 Water Lane in District Heights, Maryland. I have a radio and TV station, Higher Praise Christian Church Network, and you can reach me at 240-899-8643. God bless you all. Okay. And I hope you guys got that, but if you didn't, I'm about to put it in this feed. Dr. D, Dr. D, you want to make sure you catch up with Dr. D because she is phenomenal. So Dr. D, give me that phone number. 
9-8-6-4-3. And you blinked out a little bit, but I've got 24088986438643. Okay. Say the first the first the second 889 what? <laughs> 8643. No, no, no. 240. Yes, 899. Okay, there we go. You kept blinking out on that second, on that first nine. I couldn't okay. hear it. Okay, but I got it now. I got it now. Okay, that, here it is. So if you need it. to that's contact correct. Dr. D, please make sure you contact Dr. D. And I, I call her Dr. D affectionately. She may not want you to call her Dr. D. So when you call her, ask her how, you, how she wants to be referred to. But I call her Dr. D affectionately and make sure you send her some love when you give her a call. So thank you so much. So of course, I have shared with you the phenomenal women of stepping into our territory. And so we're going to kick the ball off with Coach Roz as we go out. Can you please share your last parting thoughts? Um, I just, again, I just want anybody out there that, that, you know, have not stepped out into your territory or stepped out and, and walked in your purpose, really, really seek God on what it is he wants you to do, because there's something in this world that he has for you to do. That's why you're still here. And that's why you still have a purpose. God bless you. Know that you're loved. And if nobody has told you that they love you, I love you. I love you. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Dr. Leia, you, the ball is in your court, darling. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I can give people as a takeaway, remember you are authentic, you are special, you have a talent, and you have your purpose. So remember to just be you. Keep the goal, the ball rolling, keep the goal focused, and don't lose hope. It doesn't matter how many times you fall, keep on standing up and moving forward. Awesome. Awesome. Trisha Thomas. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> what I would like to say is to reiterate again, just to make sure to keep that notepad at the side of your bed. Yes. With your pen. When the Lord speaks to you at three, four o'clock in the morning to make sure to turn over and write it down and make sure you reference back to it. Don't forget it. Don't just write it down. Make sure That's you right. carry it out. Okay. Carry it out. God bless you. And thank, thank you. you. So as we make our way across the Lotus Ignites Roche, Lotus Roche Ignites show, and we make our way to the next thing that we're going to do, Dr. D. Forbes is going to take us out with her last thought and with a word of prayer. It's all yours, Dr. D. Amen. I just say stay in courage. Keep your mind on focusing on great things, positive things, so that fear won't grip you. As long as you got faith, you can win this race. Oh, yeah. Let us look to the throne. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor and praise. We thank you for these great women, this great show, and the great opportunity, God, for us great women to be able to show the world that even though the world tried to beat us up, we rose to show your glory, God. We ask for you yes. to cover us, God, protect mm -hmm. us and shield us, God. Yes. Continue to yes. be a mouthpiece through mm -hmm. us, God. Um, Have your way in our life, oh God. Move yes. by your yes, might, God. your power, and your spirit, God. Yes. We ask, God, that you would reign in every house that are watching, yes. God. If there's fear, we ask that you would trade it in for faith, mm -hmm. God. We ask mm -hmm. that you would increase yes. their faith, God. We ask, yes. Father, yes. if there's yes. anyone that don't know you, that they mm -hmm. would know you as their oh, personal God. Savior, God. Oh, yeah. It is oh, not God. right to come here and not know you, God, to know mm -hmm. how good you yes, are God. and the purpose and to know how our purpose, God, mm -hmm. is to know mm -hmm. you, God, and yes. you will always have your arms wide open, mm -hmm. even for the yes. backslider. So yes. we thank, thank you, God, you. that you will continue to bless this show. God, thank prosper you. this show, God, mm -hmm. and this great woman, God, move her to another level and another dimension, God. In the name of Jesus, we declare, decree by the power of God, and it is so that all of us will walk into our fruition and touch millions of lives that they will walk out their calling. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. I'm going to drop that positive energy because if you didn't feel that, I don't know what you're going to feel. God bless you. 
We thank you for your support. We love you for your comments. Special thanks to Kathy Ray, Janelle Harris, um, just so many folks, uh, Angela Elton, Sean, Roslyn, everybody that joined the show. Even if I can't see you, I love you and I thank you and I appreciate you. And remember, don't stop. Don't let fear stop you. Mm. Always no. remember, you must ignite and take flight. Because yeah. if you don't yeah. ignite yeah. and take flight, someone oh. may lose their life because they didn't hear your word. Yeah. So God bless you. We appreciate you. And have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful life. Break the streets up.